Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for uh, this opportunity to speak at this uh, OSBIOCON Japan, and thank you for participating. We'd like to talk about talk about a data analysis approach for contribution-centric open source strategy planning. Uh, let us introduce ourselves. Uh, my name is Kazumi Sato. Uh, I, oh, I am a distinguished, hmm? sorry, I am a distinguished engineer at Sony Group Corporation, and I have been uh, working on Linux-based system software for various Sony products. I also uh, have been working on OSS compliance and relationship with a community in Sony. Since 2002, when Sony started to use Linux, uh, I have been leading system software development using Linux and introducing it to the products and complying with the open source license. Uh, I am a member of uh, the Software Strategy Committee at Sony Group Corporation. Thank you. Uh, uh, Mike. Yeah. My name is Hiro Fukuchi. I'm a senior alliance manager in Sony. I'm working on com OSS compliance and building a, a relationship with OSS community. And uh, I'm uh, the leader of uh, planning subgroup of Open Chain Japan. And also, I'm a, a translation volunteer in for English to into Japanese for such as documents uh, the uh, the Open Chain and the SPDX. And, uh, yeah, we have two co collaboration uh, collaborators and. Uh, uh, they are in this room, and uh, in the QA session, we will invite them to answer your questions. We will explain later. Yeah, this is uh, today's agenda. Firstly, we explain about the uh, OSPO, especially the OSPO maturity model. Today, this is the third time. <laughs> the, so, and then the, we explain about the uh, OSPO challenge for us and in the contribution phase and uh, especially for the how to uh, how to build a plan uh, strategy for a contribution and and then we introduce uh, the data analysis method uh, we think this is uh, to solve these uh, uh, the hotspot challenges and uh, uh, we explained about the approach and our proposed method. And then we will show the short result of our application of this method. We will show the, uh, the graphs and some considerations. And then uh, we will end this session with our short conclusion. At first, uh, OSPO. Yeah, <laughs> this is the third time today. <laughs> this is uh, more popular than yesterday. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, OSPO maturity model. Uh, this is a very good uh, model uh, created by To Do Group. And I think. This model show the insight for the OSPO journey, how to grow to the next step. And uh, uh, we, we, uh, with this picture, we can, we can see forward about uh, how, what is the next step and what is the uh, uh, issues in the future. And, and this, our uh, model shows uh, at first we uh, uh, we start 
with uh, up, uh, adopting the open source and then uh, we move on to the compliance phase and uh, we make a, a structural uh, compliance system in the organization and then we move on to the next uh, stage that is uh, the red line space and uh, uh, we fo we focus two areas one is uh, uh, the to adapt uh, uh, the uh, the open source and the two and the next is uh, to adapt uh, to uh, the community relationship uh, challenge it and uh, these two are very diff uh, different and uh, uh, so if you are at the uh, com contribution phase you may face a new challenge and a very uh, difficult for your uh, uh, experience for your uh, past experience so we need to consider the the, uh, the uh, strategy and uh, these uh, red lines con uh, contains uh, uh, the com communication relationship and the engagement and that's strategically uh, leading yeah so we want to uh, we want to use contribute the open source strategy what is a strategy uh, the uh, in this uh, session i mean uh, uh, there are many options for fostering your own project or to contribute neutral organization or other project or uh, uh, so something so we think about uh, such a strategy and uh, then we need uh, uh, the these data technology trend the open source project popular open source project and also self position this is very hard to know our position in the open source world open source world is very very big and so we it is very hard to know our, your position so then we think about the data analysis method yeah in this session uh, the data analysis mean the github commit log analysis we limited these these areas but why do do I do we use github log commit log because most open source projects are hosted at in the github so and uh, also the even if the not hosted at the github but they may have a, a mirror site at the github so we can observe the contribution activity on the github so that is why we use a github commit log and uh, uh, the the basic idea is a uh, uh, commit log and uh, uh, mail address domain filtering this gives you uh, the organization's behavior well, which uh, project they contribute or who contribute to them so it is very nice and uh, so and the first analysis to con uh, aggregating these data you can see the popular project uh, that uh, correct uh, many contributions or uh, technology areas uh, many uh, many organizations gathered uh, this is a very simple but uh, very powerful yeah and uh, our uh, approach is very simple uh, we use a uh, OSCI OSCI means uh, open source contributors index and uh, 
this data is based on the open data and uh, use open source tool. So everyone can do the same. It is very nice and uh, we can collaborate in the open source way. And uh, observation point, we focus on the uh, company, organization, not the, the project. Uh, the, for example, the chaos project gives many good uh, statistics on the project. Uh, it, it is healthy or not. Uh, so, but uh, we focus on uh, uh, the organization behavior. That is the point. And the organization makes the trend. Yeah, organization. Ah. Yes, uh, the OSCR is uh, developed by the EPEN, the company in Europe. And uh, uh, the, this is the uh, index uh, the for the organization's active contributors. Active contributor means uh, 10 or more uh, commit per year. So it is uh, very nice to see the uh, their activity, their organization's activities. So uh, it is very nice. And uh, so the data is uh, uh, the uh, commit log and uh, so tools are open. So the approach is very uh, the same as we think. Uh, this is a, a chart for the uh, for, for chart of the calculation of OSCI. Uh, firstly, the Git, GitHub commit log are downloaded by filtering the email address. So, and also the list, company list are the limited. So that we can reduce the number. And so uh, the, these tools and uh, list are open, open source maintained by EPEN. So everyone can join to collaborate and everyone can do by yourself. So it is very nice. And then uh, the we calculate the OSCI and you can get these kind of data. So top leading companies are growing their contributions Recently, we can see the overview of their uh, the, uh, contributions. OSCI is very nice, but we want to uh, further details of the contributions. So we think about uh, the more further uh, the, uh, the uh, analysis, for example, uh, which project do they uh, they, they con contributed uh, technology areas and the ratio of in incoming and outgoing the ratio is a very important for us uh, uh, should we foster our project or should we join the open pro open source project that is the point so we added this uh, the red, red uh, part. And uh, the point is uh, we, uh, sorry, uh, at this stage, the company list has uh, 300 companies. Uh, it is very small, <laughs> uh, smaller than the GitHub whole data, but uh, it is also the big. So uh, the we, this one, we uh, reduced the uh, company list around 10 companies and uh, we pick up our leading companies across the industry such as cloud vendors, uh, semiconductors, uh, IT vendors, and the uh, media companies, so we can see, we can 
observe the, the some kind of trend in these uh, leading companies and also the difference between them the the difference of strategy between among them that is our way okay uh, we'd like to talk about our uh, application uh, uh, ap application of the uh, proposed method, uh, we analyze total contribution by a company. Uh, this uh, show uh, strength of uh, contribution activity of the company. So uh, we can be observed using OSCI. And uh, we categorized uh, contribution. Uh, one is uh, inner contribution Inner contribution is a uh, contribution to uh, self-organization. And uh, we categorize outer contribution. Uh, uh, this contribution is a uh, contribution to outside organization. Uh, uh, mm, outer contribution is a uh, project uh, contribution uh, to other uh, project under another corporate governance or project under uh, neutral uh, governance. Uh, and uh, we analyzed uh, by this, uh, we uh, find uh, key players in the uh, focused technology field. Uh, this page show uh, that categorization. Uh, we uh, analyze uh, fair organization contributed to. Uh, a company uh, contribute a company's uh, project. Uh, it's, uh, uh, we, analyze, uh, we categorized uh, inter-contribution. If a company contribute uh, outside of the uh, organization, we categorize uh, outer uh, contribution. And uh, we uh, analyzed uh, rate between inner contribution and outer contribution. This page show uh, con uh, by uh, contributors uh, X axis is uh, co mm, contrib total contributor, total contributors, and uh, Y axis is uh, outer contrib uh, 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 rate, the rate of uh, outer contributors uh, from uh, total contributors. So. Uh, it, uh, more x axis is, is uh, right is uh, the organization uh, contributor activity is uh, strongest and uh, up, upper side uh, company is uh, strength uh, outer contribution and uh, lower axis side is uh, more inner contribution. And uh, we uh, analyzed uh, receives uh, outer contributor from outside. Uh, if uh, co uh, companies B contribute to company A, uh, we uh, cut, categorize uh, f from uh, outside contributors. And uh, this rate uh, between inter and uh, outer contribution is uh, how successful to foster the project of the companies. And this page shows uh, 
how organization receives a uh, contribution from outlaws. Yeah, uh, there are uh, um, many uh, contribution from outside project. Uh, uh, we uh, displayed some uh, uh, project from uh, out of contribution. And uh, we analyze a uh, neutral organization uh, project activities. And uh, this show uh, uh, the uh, um, company uh, utilized a uh, neutral uh, project. How uh, utilize uh, neutral projects? Uh, this uh, chart show uh, contribution to Linux Foundation project. Uh, leading company contribute to uh, Linux Foundation project. So uh, we suppose uh, contribution to our contribution to a new. Linux Foundation project is uh, very good, and uh, we utilized uh, we should utilize Linux Foundation project. This uh, church show a uh, technical category of uh, organization. Uh, this chart show a uh, crowd related a uh, project is uh, uh, um, many, many uh, contributors from other companies. Uh, 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 comp uh, mm, many organizations contribute crowd areas. Uh, this uh, page shows uh, Apache Software Foundation case. Uh, this page, uh, this page chart show uh, difference of uh, Linux Foundation case. The, uh, this page show uh, uh, Eclipse Foundation project case. Uh, mm, this chart show uh, difference from uh, Linux Foundation and uh, Eclipse foundations and uh, let's uh, talk about a brief observation and uh, consideration uh, contribution pattern are different uh, some company is uh, inner centric most uh, contribution go to own project and uh, organization may uh, develop software project as uh, open source and uh, some companies uh, is uh, outer centric. Uh, more than uh, half contribution go to uh, outer project. O organization may de uh, depend on open source uh, ecosystems. And uh, receiving outer uh, contribution uh, receiving rate is observed at 2% to 15% uh, among uh, leading organizations. So, uh, fostering uh, open source project is very tough. Uh, leading, leading company uh, can uh, get out, out, out the, uh, contributor, but uh, some of uh, project uh, only got two percent, so uh, five percent or ten percent uh, contribution is uh, su successful, I think. And uh, as a neural open source project, uh, some organization uh, utilize a neutral open source project. Neutral open source 
uh, may be a good place to collaborate uh, each other. Uh, let's talk about uh, open source tools. Uh, filter and company list and uh, download to uh, develop and uh, open source by EPAM. So uh, uh, we or you can try th uh, this method. Uh, and uh, as a community collaboration, uh, we uh, ha have several issues were uh, discussed with the tools. The issue was uh, uh, communicate with the community on GitHub. And a fix for the issue was created and contributed by uh, community and Sony. Okay. Uh, we have some limitation. Uh, accuracy of analysis is affected by uh, some tools paths. <laughs> of course, and uh, analysis period is uh, limited. Uh, our uh, presentation is a smart snapshot of uh, January in this year, and uh, organization list is, uh, uh, organization list for filtering is limited uh, our, by our interesting. <laughs> and uh, there are, uh, many bots, <laughs> so uh, many bots uh, is uh, mm, there are many bots, so w uh, we uh, ignore a lot of data. <laughs> so, and uh, organization list use corporate uh, corporate domain uh, main address. So not all contributors uh, use corporate domain mail address. Uh, so someone uh, use a private address. And uh, we didn't count in uh, individual contributors. And uh, selection list does not uh, cover our organization. So yes. And uh, we, uh, uh, our analysis only use GitHub commit log. Uh, and uh, as you know, there are important projects outside of GitHub, such as uh, Linux kernels. Uh, our conclusion, uh, an analysis approach is introduced, uh, OSCI and analyzed uh, commit log uh, commit log. And uh, we show some application results uh, in a contribution, outer contribution, and uh, some company strategy difference. Uh, tool is open source, uh, co collaborate is a uh, welcome. That's all. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have uh, any question, uh, Please f feel free to ask us. Yeah. Uh, be before the Q and session, we in, uh, introduce our colleagues to guide the Arin and the Kuwata san. Please stand up. And uh, the, they are our uh, the, they are very well for the making the, uh, the tools and the analyze. So thank you for. And so we we can uh, we can answer. Uh, you are questioned by force. Yeah, P please. Uh, if you have a question or comment, please uh, give us. Yeah, thank you for the nice presentation. So my answer is when you try to measure the contribution, so you measure by the number of lines of the source code or the numbers of the commit or the numbers of the contributors. So I'm a bit confused about that. Oh. Okay, uh, in this chart case, uh, we analyze by contributors. Okay, thank, uh, thank We you. also analyze uh, by commit, but uh, in many cases, 
uh, almost uh, same uh, fig almost same figure. So uh, in this uh, presentation, we use uh, contributors' view. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, another question is about is a, a technique. Right? Yes. So when you use the GitLab to track the commit log, so when you rename a source file or you move it to another uh, directory, so usually the commit log break down. So I know how how you deal with this issue. Thank you for the question. So actually, we are analyzing day by day from the start day. Um, let's say that you, that you have a file in direct directory A uh, at the beginning of the month. So you will have the history at the beginning of the month for that file. And then on the 10th of the month, it will be moved to a new folder. So for the first 10 days, you have the old history and then you have the new history as a continuation. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. If the file has been moved three years ago, then yes, we miss it. I it's a limitation of the tool. Okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Thank you for the question. Any question? So first of all, very nice presentation. Um, my question is if you have taken any actions or made decisions that you say, okay, we now explicitly approach this company or we explicitly take this project to investigate further or if it's more, first of all, a theoretical analysis to get a better understanding. Yeah, uh, this is uh, our trial. And so uh, the POC, and so we we convince ourselves uh, this method is work well. So the next step is uh, the to uh, scale the uh, the period. This is a one just a one uh, one month, and so we want to uh, scale the uh, s several years, and we want to see the transition of the contributors activity or organization's activity. And then uh, we, uh, we may uh, uh, analysis for the, our business unit. Uh, and they, they can uh, plan their uh, business strategy by using this uh, open source data. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so my, my question is, this is mostly for strategic contribution, but are you also using that data or will you be using that data when you consume strategically? I mean, Sony is a very large company. Will you be, be sort of trying to get Sony to use the same open source components in all business units because you like this data for a certain project or how will this be used? Personally, think that this is an early stage work in progress um, data analysis, and probably we will decide later after we see how things look. Thank you. Uh, I work at Sony, so I'm going to answer that a little bit too. Um, so, one of the first things I did looking at this data was to see where the contributions were. Um, and uh, I think eventually we would like to, uh, obviously we're doing this, uh, as I said, in early stages, but we hope to uh, be able to use this for strategic planning, as you described, to find out what projects uh, that Sony is involved with or that maybe we should get involved with uh, to, to, uh, that will be beneficial for our product line. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I, I think uh, the hot thing to do is that 
to move to uh, uh, the x-axis. And then <laughs> you should consider the upper, upper or lower. Uh, so so <laughs> if, you, if your contributor is very small, then the first thing is to, uh, to encourage the uh, engineer to contribute to the world. Thank you. So, how many companies in your organization list? Uh, you mean? I, I saw that the uh, organization list. So, um, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, there is uh, two lists. One is here. Uh, this is maintained by uh, EPEN, and uh, this contains uh, 300. And then uh, we can uh, select uh, several leading companies. Uh, that is around uh, 10, 10 companies. And uh, but uh, we we can we can increase, but uh, the we need uh, more uh, computing power. So due to our not so not sufficient uh, computing power we limited the, the, the 10 10 or around the 10 uh, companies but we can do the more yeah okay thank you very much and uh, maybe another question maybe yeah so there is two types of organization one is the inner uh, centric another mm -hmm. one is the outer centric so can you share maybe more information about these two types, what is the difference and which one is better? So in your opinion? Uh, uh, we are neutral and uh, they have a business strategy. They have a business strategy. And so it depends on the business strategy. For example, the we found the, the relatively, uh, the semiconductor company are upper upper part because they they need uh, many hardware platforms to to work with their uh, uh, no 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 software platform so like uh, Linux kernel or other more uh, open source uh, open source platforms so they want to connect such a uh, platforms and uh, the other hand the there are uh, the, uh, some companies like uh, this Unity or uh, Elastics. They have a very strong uh, software core business, and uh, so they are perhaps I don't know, but uh, perhaps uh, the uh, they are in uh, centric. But uh, it depends on the uh, the business strategy. So we cannot say which is better or worse. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much.